So avoiding children uh, will uh, experience avoiding attachment. So and uh, and children who show ambivalence will experience uh, ambivalence attachments, and children who uh, experience uh, disorganized behavior will show disorganized attachments. So um. Previous slide, I talked about avoiding children, avoiding uh, ambivalent children, disorganized children. So these types of children uh, will experience this type of attachment with their parents. Uh, when they were at uh, age 1 to 5 years old, they will experience this type of attachment with their, children's, uh, with their parents. And later, they will also experience this type, this type of uh, attachments with their parents. Uh, peers with their boss with their colleagues at work. So at wo uh, avoidance attachments characterized by fear and rejections of close relationship. So um, at the age of one to five, they will experience uh, avoidance attachments with parents. And later, when they come to the age of working or adolescence, they will experience uh, their behavior will be characterized by fear and rejections of close relationships, uh, either with friends or with, uh, with partners or with colleagues. So they will avoid commitment in the relationship. That's why there are some uh, people who do not like to, uh, to have a commitment uh, committed commitments in their relationship because maybe because of their children they experience these avoidant attachments. Uh, so uh, another thing is ambivalence attachments is uh, is uh, characterized by mixed feeling of acceptance and rejections. So the the experience uh, mixed feelings of acceptance and rejections so in their relationship later when they when they grow up um, they will experience uh, the same problem so in the relationship they will demand more attention so because when they were, ch uh, were a child they experience this feeling uh, unsecure feelings so they experience unsecure feeling uh, with their parents they experience ambivalent attachments with their parents so uh, later when they grow up, they will experience unsecure feeling with the relationships, either with uh, with the spouse or with the colleagues, and so on. Because of their unsecure feeling, they will demand extra attention. That's why, uh, when in the relationship, uh, the 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 partners, either boyfriend or girlfriends, will will ask for more attention. They uh, easily get jealous. They want more attention from their partners. So, and the third one is disorganized or disoriented uh, attachments is characterized by confused and contradictory. So, uh, the individual who experience this while they were at the childhood uh, stage, they will experience problem with uh, parents. So later, they also have prob. They will also uh, experience problems with uh, peers or with work colleagues or with um with friends or partners. So they may feel they feel secure with one person and they feel insecure with another. So that's why they they tend to they, they tend to have many relationships because they are not secure with having one relationship. So they keep uh, changing their partners because they are not really secure. They not really uh. Um, uh, insecure also so they just are changing partners and then they just uh, end up like uh, alone because they are not secure to be uh, with others so insecure attachment experience at this age first five years of your life will uh, develop uh, the, the individual of the persons to become over dependence if the attachments with the parents is insecure the the, the behavior or the personality will develop in that uh, children's uh, they will have over dependence on someone's or uh, they have emotional sensitivity uh, they have viewer social skill they become less competent when they get older Secure attachments, if the, the children are having secure attachments at the age of 1 to 5 years old, the, the, the personality of the children will develop, become more positive. They are unthreatened uh, with the relationship with others. Uh, so if let's say um, the, 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 their, their partners are not really um, 
give them more attention, they are okay because they are believe in themselves. They are have a positive kind of attitudes. This also lead to well adjusted in in adults when they become adults. They could able to adapt to the different kind of environments. They could live in a uh, different kind of uh, contexts and situations. They also uh, could produce higher intellectual achievement later when they come when they start uh when they start their 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 school or university or they start start uh, their their work. So uh frauds uh come uh, uh there's another theory by frauds frauds come uh uh differentiates between five psychosexual stages of personality development so when we talk about the first five years of of our of the life of children uh, there are many theories uh the theories before talking about unsecure and secure attachments they are talking about am, avoidance and violence disorganized and they are talking also about the this uh, the stage uh, stages the early stages uh, uh early stages early work life uh work young adulthoods middle adulthoods late adulthoods and before that they are talking about critical periods sensitive periods and so on so now there's um there's a, a theory by fraud uh, he come up with the explanations based on the psychosexual, that means combination of psychology and sexual interpretations uh, based on these uh, stages. There are many stages uh, that uh, Freud um, proposed. Uh, first one is uh, oral stage. Uh, is uh, actually uh, when the baby is a uh, first uh, one year old and anal stage when the baby is between one and a half to three years old and then pelvic stage when the children is about three to four years old latent stage uh, when the children is about five to twelve and genital stage when the adolescents uh, around twelve to eighteen years old and beyond so uh, fraud come up with the uh, five stages are uh, psychosocial stages and on each of these stage there's a se sexual explanations behind um, individual behavior so the f the early years uh, the first year of uh, uh, first five years according to uh, fraud uh, individual or baby are focusing more on oral and anal that's why when you look at the children's or the baby at the age one to three they tend to use more of their mouth they're playing around more uh, they pl they're playing around with toys using their mouth so this at this age uh, the, the erogenous uh, zones is around the mouth and also anus and genital anus and genitals because they pee and poo as they like so that's why he said they just want to exercise their pleasure by using the mouth um, and also anus and genital they also using their mouth for example anything they they they, they touch they will put in their mouth because uh, they according to fraud they get um, satisfaction by using the mouth and also by using the anus and genital that's mean by p and o and so on so based on the uh, fraud using this mouth anus and genital actually uh, can let the sexual energy is set free because they could satisfy their needs uh, that's why they use their mouth uh, just anything they found even though uh, they found uh, foods or they found uh, toys or they found anything even sometimes when you give them sand or you, when you give them frogs they will put in their mouth because they just uh, they just use their mouth but actually they use their mouth to learn also because that's the the first uh, uh, the first um, things that they they use uh, their mouth and also their hand and so on but what I want to emphasize here uh, based on fraud, uh, kids or baby normally use the mouth, anal and genital at the age of five, 1 to 5 uh, because that's actually the organ that give them more satisfaction, that give, more, uh, give them more uh, feeling of uh, satisfaction and also a uh, feeling of like a uh, freedoms or like a uh, where the sexual energy is set free according to fraud also needs uh, at this uh, at this organ or at this uh, uh, part of the body uh, gratified in each stage by parents and others if not fit sessions will manifest in later personality stage so at each 
at each stage there will be a needs uh, that need to be satisfied if the needs are not gratified or are not satisfied the the the, the kids or the children uh, the baby will experience fixations fixation when they they cannot satisfy but they have to move on so that fixations even though they have to move on they still have the feeling that they need to be uh, need to be satisfied so fixations is where people get stuck and do not develop adequately beyond that stage for example at this stage at each of this stage there will be needs that need to be satisfied for example at oral stage the, the needs to use the mouth need to be satisfied if not later uh, the, the kids or the, the adults when they become adults they will use their mouth uh, because they are not satisfied when they were when they were at uh, at this age uh, later they will use the mouth either to hurt others or to just satisfy the needs that they didn't satisfy when they, they were at this age Similarly, if they didn't satisfy the needs of anal stage, that's me using uh, the where they poo and they pee. If they didn't satisfy at this stage, uh, they will become fixations. That means the, the, the satisfaction is not fulfilled, but they have to move to the next stage. Uh, later, when they uh, come to the age of adults or teenage age, they will have that kind of behavior that they still not satisfied here for example if they not satisfied at anal stage uh, later they become messy they become you know uh, that they, they're not really organized persons so this will reflect on their personality later if they didn't uh, satisfy the needs at each of this age according to fraud the needs that didn't be satisfied is called fixations where they got uh, stuck at that needs even though they have to move to the next stage but their uh, but their inner self didn't move their inner self still stuck at that stage but they have to move because the age increasing so they have to move up to this stage after they reach this age and then after they reach this, this age they have to move up but if they didn't satisfy at each of the level they still uh, inner self still stuck at this one even though they uh, physically have to move up according to their age so this fixation people get stuck and do not develop adequately beyond that stage is referring to the inner self so some fix, uh, fix uh, contents may be repressed to the, to the unconscious so when they didn't uh, satisfy the needs at this stage uh, their inner self become fixated that means they repress uh, that kind of uh, needs but these needs will appear later when they come to the uh, later age so this need that haven't been satisfied will be repressed to the unconscious so that's become the inner self that they are not satisfied so conflicts are not really resolve uh, may influence later so the needs that are not uh, satisfied at each level will be repressed uh, into under unconsciousness this will appear this uh, this uh, the, the needs that they repress will appear later in the life uh, influence later life so when they become older or they will become adolescents it will show on their behavior for example jealousy impassion verbal uh, uh, aggressiveness is actually because the needs at the oral stage is not uh, satisfied and uh, people may become rebellious and untidy because of the anal stage of expulsions and feces are not satisfied so at this stage they need to satisfy the needs to uh to, to poo and pee as they like if they didn't satisfy that kind of desire the needs they will become a persons that are rebellious and untidy and competitive ambitious if they didn't satisfy the needs at this uh latent stage uh, they will becomes uh, 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 becomes uncompetitive become ambitious so if they are uh, if the if uh, if they're having a pallet possessions they become more competitive they become more ambitious they become trying to always to be superior so at this stage it is important to satisfy the needs that that's at this stage if not they will become uh, a very competitive persons very ambitious and 
trying to be superior so this is actually not good uh, it is some good in some way but it's not it's not it, it become not good when it is too extreme so this is the when they become ambitious too ambitious uh, 